one simple question is worth half a million pounds. Right, let's hear a little bit more from our contestants. Chris, we heard you're a part-time farmer, is that right? Yes, just part-time. What do you do the rest of the time? I work for a local company that are in the steel industry. So you work with steel, but you're nothing to do with erections? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, who have you got at home, Chris? Uh, I've got my partner, Stephanie, and three beautiful children. I've got Harry, Marley and George. George has just been born in the leap, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. So he only gets a birthday every four years? Yeah, that way I save money, you see. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, good luck tonight. I hope thanks. it goes well for you. Great, thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs> Louise, now you work in at Mobile Catering, we said earlier. What exactly is that? I've got burger vans on the steelworks in Scunthorpe. Oh, burger vans? Burger vans. <laughs> so what would you do if, if you get to the end and win half a million pounds now? What would you do with the money? I would open the classiest greasy spoon you've ever eaten in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, so, you got, so if you won, let me get this straight, if you won half a million pounds, you'd go from mobile catering to stationary catering. Yep. You'd sell the same stuff. I love my job. It's a brilliant job. Oh, fair play to you. Fair play to you. Best of luck tonight, Ross. Cheers, thank you. Christine. Hello. You're... Woo! <laughs> Have you got a fan club in? Yeah. I thought you had. Uh, and you married? Yeah, I'm married, yeah. Who to? Martin. Um, we've been together, well, it'll be 11 years this year. Was it love at first sight? No, it definitely wasn't love at first sight. <laughs> definitely wasn't? Why? It just wasn't my type. He's a rugby player and he'd shaven head. Bless him. And he was just such a big build and I was like, whoa. And so what, what changed your mind? We went out on a date and he just treated us like a princess and it was love at second sight. Oh! So he's a, a big softy at heart. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Listen, good luck tonight. Thank you. And good luck to all of you. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> After the first game, Alex, Sam, Christine and Tony all have a point. Jane, Joan, Chris and Louise yet to score. Still on zero. But that could all change very, very quickly because it's time for game number two. If you were to look up Dart's legends in the dictionary, you'd find these next two names at the top of the page. They are simply the best. Main for Red, the 15-time world champion and current world number one, it's Phil the Power Taylor. And playing for Black, the reigning world champion and current world number two, it's Adrian Jackpot Lewis. Now, this is a modern twist on a classic challenge because it's not just the player's accuracy, but crucially their speed that will be put to the test. And every second counts. Whoever scores 5 or 1 and checks out in the quickest time will be the winner. But will it be Phil in red or Adrian in black? Clear for red, it's Phil the Power Taylor! And playing for black, please welcome Adrian Jackpot Lewis. Phil, welcome to the show. I'm so excited to have you two on the show. Now, this is the second massive decision for our contestants. Yes. Tell them why they should pick you and go red. Well, I'm 15 times world champion. <laughs> Won absolutely hundreds and hundreds of tournaments around the world. <laughs> I'm more experienced, I'm better looking. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you should pick me. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, Phil. Good argument. It's a very good argument. That's the case for Phil and Red. Adrian, welcome to the show. It's Thank great you. to have you here. Why should our guys go for you and choose black? I'm younger. Um, and he says he said he's better looking. I don't think so. Uh, last couple of times we've met on TV, uh, I've won. Um, and, uh, well, if you want to win the jackpot, you better pick the jackpot. Simple as that, really. <laughs> Let's do it one more time for Phil and Adrian, everybody! And now it's time for your second big decision, red or black. As always, you can bide your time, but wait too long to pick a colour 
and the choice could be taken away from you. The correct decision here will win you two points. So, it's very straightforward. The darts player who scores 5 or 1 in the quickest time wins. Phil will be going first. Contestants, are you all ready? This is Checkout! Phil, you're required 5 or 1. Oh, and our contestants have all made their decisions straight away. They're not hanging around for this one. John went very early there, very early. 24, Phil, you're required 477. It's a solid, if not spectacular, start. 57. Phil, you require 372. Obviously a very different technique. They use the They're not used to playing speed darts. Normally they've got time to consider their shots. 40 seconds gone. Remember, the players have to check out on a double. 46. Phil, you require 224. Yeah, Phil needs to pick up the pace now. 94, Phil requires 70. Still a lot to go. Different darts, this. Different darts. One minute ten gone. 54, Phil requires 16. Double eight, he's looking for. Just missed it to the left. Landed in a single eight. Double four he needs now. No. Phil requires eight. Double, double four. four. Double four, come on, Phil. Got to end on a double. Double two. Double two. one now. Come on, he needs to get that double one to finish. The nerves are getting. Oh, that was close, but it's not double one. That bounced out. Oh, so, so close. Two. Coming up to two and a half minutes now. Still requires double one to check out. Check out. Got it. Check out. <laughs> wow. So, Phil completed it in 2 minutes and 35 seconds. We'll now hand you back to our match referee to see if Adrian can beat that time. Adrian, you require 5 or 1, checking out on a double, and you have the time of 2 minutes 35 to beat. Came on. And it's off. So the time is ticking down now. Come on! 21. Adrian, you require 480. So Adrian knows what he has to beat, and he knows the time he has to beat it. If he keeps going like this, he's going to storm it. Come 97, on. Adrian, you're part 324. He's playing nice and steady. 140, Adrian, you're part 184. He knows what he's doing here. Everybody who's got black are jumping up and down and clapping away. They think they've got this. He just needs double 20 to check out, and he's there. Yes! Check out! It's a black win! What a <laughs> Commiserations, oh, Phil, commiserations. Congratulations. Please, don't, don't, don't it's, it's a different type of game, isn't it? It is. Speed it is. Dot, a different kind of game. Well, let's hear it one more time. For Phil the Power Taylor, our winner, Adrian Jackson Lewis! Well done, well done. So, congratulations, Jane, <laughs> Alex, Chris and Louise. You all had black. None of you guys that went black chose black. It was done for you. The reds <laughs> uh, got taken up very, very quickly. Obviously, a lot of Phil the Power Taylor fans. Alex, you didn't get in there quick enough, but would you have gone red or black? I think I would have gone black, yeah. The stats before saying that Adrian had beaten twice before. I think that definitely counted in his favour there, and I'm just glad that they went a bit trigger happy there. <laughs> they it really worked did. in my favour. They were very, very quick. And let's uh, let's update your scoreboards. Then you get two points for that one. Well done. But commiserations, John, Sam, Christine, and Tony. Red was the wrong choice. Christine, you've got to choose yeah, red. I do watch a bit of darts, and I do like Bill Taylor. I really yeah. do. And he looked really calm on the stage. He just looked so calm and I thought he was going to do it, but obviously wasn't meant to be. See, maybe you went too early. Yep. Didn't, didn't watch, you see. And, Tony, is that the same for you there? You went too early? No, I was always going for Phil. You were? Power Taylor, because I just thought the experience would be there and I thought he's a showman. So 
he'd rise to this. Unfortunately, Adrian got a very, very good time there. Your scores all stayed the same, but it's still all to play for, though, because game three is worth three points. Yes, it is. We'll be right back with the last chance for our contestants to win a place in the final four. After game three, half of them will leave us. Find out who survived right after this break. We'll see you all in just a few minutes. <laughs> Fancy a millionaire lifestyle? We're giving you a chance to drive away a brand new C-Class Mercedes and take home £50,000 in cash, plus a selection of luxury goods worth £10,000 and a trip for four to the Maldives, staying on the Conrad Maldives Rangali Island. For your chance to win the car, the luxury goods, the holiday and £50,000 in cash answer the following question. Royal Mail post boxes are generally which colour? A. Red B. Black Call 090 4161 5050 Calls cost no more than £1.54 pence from BT landlines Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more Or text your answer A or B to 63339 Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message or there's free entry at the website. Entrants must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close at 9 a.m. on Monday the 8th of October will not be counted, but may still be charged. Date restrictions apply. Good luck.